Hey, do you find yourself at home thinking, I wish I had some more Mona? Well, go to moremona.com and get more content, extra podcasts, get access to our exclusive Discord today. You can pay $5.99, $6.99 monthly. I literally picked the price. You could pay $6.99 monthly or a one-time fee for the year, $59.99, and get all exclusive Don't Call Me White Girl podcast stuff. That's behind the scenes, porns with me and Phelps, access <laughs> to the Discord, get early information on all live podcast shows and live events. You'll have access to get your tickets first because Lord knows, Miss Sellout, what they call me. So go to moremona.com today. Don't waste time. Spend the $59.99 for the year so we don't have to worry about Apple chasing you down and taking your lunch money when you got three days until you're paid, right? Pay for the year. Get more Mona today. That's moremona.com. Check it out. Stop asking for access to the Discord because you won't get it till you pay. It's America. Ain't nothing free here. Mormona.com. Today. Welcome to the Don't Call Me White Girl podcast. To the left of me is Phelps. I haven't seen him in weeks. How are you, Phelps? That's a lie. It was good. I just made Phelps um, well done turkey wings and an Asian zesty wing sauce with homemade mashed potatoes and steamed broccoli. And you know what Phelps said? The broccoli needs salt. I enjoyed the plate. Don't you did, that. but you did I say the that. broccoli. Phelps is one that will not, he doesn't have a problem telling you the truth. Whole time, y'all, when she put the plate down, she said, Phelps, the broccoli. I said, yeah. All right, we, it was like a, you know, one of them things with two. It's like at the say it was one of those moments, so don't do that. <laughs> don't embarrass me. No, um, yeah. Food was great as always. Yeah, I feed my baby. Shout out to the uh the mother place I be getting out there. Take that out. Drop take take that part out. Mm. Um yesterday was weird. Um Megan the Stallion dropped um a, a diss song. In my opinion, I court strays at um I court shots at Tory. Of course, shots at Drake. Some of the shots to me what? fit for Tori and Drake. It came like, at Drake? She says, I thought it was Drake. She says, the BBL drawing. Yeah, she says, um, people talk about BBLs, and then they got the same scars. And everybody knows Drake had a BBL. And that's two times, just got a BBL. Let's get BBL. I'm about to say, I remember uh, Kevo was like the big BBL too. Yeah, but see, but Kevo kept it real. Being Kevo or whatever, yeah. he was open about it, da 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 these dudes are, you wouldn't know until you doing it to them and you peep, damn, our scars are identical. <laughs> wow. We both had lipo. Whoa. Whoa. Um, Yo. <laughs> you know, I'm all for plastic surgery. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't want my boyfriend to go get a BBL, but, like, if he did, I wouldn't, you know. Like, when we argue, I'd probably be like, you got BBL. But other than that, I'd be like, babe, your jeans look good on you now. Like, it worked, babe. Yes, so when, slay. But when a n- get it done, it's really just lipo, right? Like, he not transferring his fat nowhere, right? I don't know. They be getting that <laughs> moved out. <laughs> they be getting that <laughs> right, you know? Right. That's what caught my, 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 caught my attention the first time. She says, <laughs> with fake accents and act gangster and then on up blocks pretending they're blocks that's totally a drake drum. i thought that was a tory um, but to me it could go for both it could it was i <laughs> definitely took a drake but it could go for both they both are like for me like with drake because i'm not like a big drake fan I, I recognize how good he is and all that he's just not my cup of tea um but that's one thing when i first when he first came out i was into him and he had a texas kind of sound like he had a texas vibe everything was texas whatever whatever you know, combination. He's back, you know, he's speaking Patois. You know what I mean? I just took that as Drake standing out, claiming these hoods and shit you never even been in or walked in or whatever. But, you know, y'all like that. <laughs> y'all like that. Uh, um, but, yeah, I caught all the jabs. I am a rap girly. Like, I like rap. I'm all for diss songs, dropping diss songs, beefing, battling, all that. Like, 
And I come from the rap days where they beat, they would beef a little bit, then they would like shoot each other's studio up. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm with that. Like I remember Fifty Cent and them, they got into like a fight and they like stabbing each other. You know, like black tie stab somebody. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, they I said don't... they cut the lights out and I just start poking. <laughs> 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 But Tony Yayo, because nobody, nobody tells a story like Tony Yayo. I asked Tony to come on the podcast. I didn't get in response. But um, when oh Yayo, God, that would be like- I love Yayo. Yayo's story selling abilities are crazy. But when he told the story, I remember him making a reference about like if more of them had guns, they probably would all lost their career or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't get why it's like this big thing when girls diss each other. It's like it's already tension. It's already shade. It's already... Put that shit on wax. I'm with that. Like, let's do that all year. Yeah, keep it like, like that. Yeah. Let's keep it like that. Let's do that all year. Let's not focus on this person has a ghost rider. You let your pen chew up the ghost rider, the brother, the sister. Let your pen be the one that's like, it don't matter if Jesus himself come down with them sandals on. Okay. And the iPad. She still can't see me. That's what type of time I'm trying to be on. Nicki Minaj went live and she said a lot. She said a lot. And I am a person that's like, I'm definitely like, you go low, I go lower person. So I can't sit up on no, um, you know, on a uh, pedestal and act like, oh, that was terrible. But it was a little strange, some of the stuff. It was like, mm-hmm. I'm going to talk more about that on the sub episode because I don't want to be for the barbs. My dog came on the podcast, Remy Mom, and we had a conversation about um, when her and Nikki went back and forth and um, Remy Ma dropped sheet there. I don't even know if you could find sheet there anywhere. I know you can because I told Amina about it and then she ran Probably in my SoundCloud. room like, Mom. Yeah, I got SoundCloud or whatever. Um, I told my daughter, my daughter's 13, I told my daughter about it and she came in like, Mom, like, oh my God, like, she didn't beat her up for that? Like, <laughs> even my 13 year old knew how, like, how really, you know, like, vicious it was or whatever. But, yeah. um, after just having Remy on the podcast, like Nikki, it, it really wasn't, a, we didn't have a Nikki conversation, but we did discuss Sheether because I was such a big fan of Sheether, but I like no frauds. Like yeah. I enjoyed the whole thing. Um, but I, I got harassed by the bars for like six, seven months. Like I ain't scared of you because y'all don't come outside, <laughs> but I just don't feel like it. So we're going to keep that with the sub episode because yeah. I feel like all my cousins that are barbs, we understand each other. Yeah, I will say Nikki is a beast. Nikki is a legend. And I'm all for Nikki, like, getting on paper, like, wearing niggas out, men, women, whoever. I don't think a lot of people could see her, and I think we should really, like, kind of stick to that. At the same time, I know how it feels where I am, where a bunch of people telling me how to feel, how to act, how to react. It's a lot. I can only imagine how she feels. So, you know, I don't really know, but I'm with the keeping it on wax shit. I'm not even on some keep it on the wax, leave it there. Keep it on wax and let's rumble. <laughs> keep it on wax and let's fight each other, though. You know, like, not like the cousins and the, like, no. Yo, we catch each other at the award other, show it's, and it's then up. we just get mixy real quick. I mean, that just depends though. That should go that should go far sometimes. Cause you what you coming from, you you'll you'll take your L and oh I lost you feel me? Yeah. That that's not that's not how shit uh, goes. Most now. people be. Uh, but the thing about it is most of these people won't even get mixy. But it's like if you that angry about it before people calling people jobs and pre-os and whatever, let's leave it in the street. But that's just me. You know what I mean? So I'm sure a lot of people don't understand, but I'm going to get deeper into it on um, the subscription episode. Subscribe to moremona.com as soon as you can. I can really say what I want on them episodes and I don't have to worry about so much or whatever. You know, I will say I enjoy his and I am waiting for Giddy Up. Like I am waiting. That beat sound crazy. The lives were strange. <laughs> okay. I know y'all was like, Mom, Mom, what's wrong? Um, anyway. Let's see. Let's check. Let's check. Uh, Competition a part of rap and hip hop. I don't know why people. Why is it like, such a big deal to be dropping this song? Like, they are so upset around it. Yo, Coyla Ray put out a tweet and she's like, rap beef is tired and played out. Whatever. It's like, girl, you still running that mouth with that little <laughs> head. What's wrong with beefing on the wax? Your father yeah. is writing a diss song right now. Eminem just dissed your father. He's going to use. Every piece of that neck strand to get that diss shit wrote <laughs> so he could put it out. It's competition. Like. Eminem has been his arch nemesis for his whole fucking life. Benzino has made it his fucking life to get rid of that white boy and never could. So for Eminem to randomly diss him, yes, I'm with that. It's, it's diss him up. back. It's always put up. your neck into it. But what Eminem said is not a. It's not a. It's a diss, but it's true. A lot. Of, that's the thing. The best diss are true ones. He was court in a hotel with a man. On the twin size bed. 
and they were probably I don't know if we can say that. We can't take it out. If we can, that's what happened. Am I calling him gay? No. Did he possibly come in in a Holiday Inn? Maybe. I don't judge him for that. Come on out. Hey, here's the closet door. I still I'm listen to Matt's Rock the here. Party. Hey, Matt, look at that. Right? I don't care. Any horror. Um... It was flooding everywhere. We just, I just took the kids to Great Wolf Lodge, and that whole Great Wolf Lodge that we were at had water up to their knees. Oh, my God. Thank God that didn't happen when I was there. Smush would have had a f***ing fit. He would have wanted to see every manager there. <laughs> he not around. He would have never took that shit. And then it flooded real bad in San Diego. Did y'all see that? Mm-mm. Water up to your waist in your apartment in San Diego. Damn. The it's the West Coast. It's Cali. Yeah, that's crazy. Our prayers are with you here to don't call me like your podcast. We don't want y'all swimming through that doo-doo water because that's the thing. I remember that little boy went viral and they were like dancing all in the water when they had a flood in like Northern Cali somewhere. And then people start putting like statistically what's in the water and it's like 80% doo-doo, 20% chemicals. It's mm. like, get them kids out that water. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up that float. Uh, you are not at the water park. Cause I'm from Philly, where we played in the fire hydrant. Yeah, but that ain't doo doo water. Nah, that's not doo doo water. That's tap water. That's Schuylkill yeah, punch. Tap water, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with Schuylkill punch. Nah. I was raised on it. Um, let me say something. Oh my god, I was so upset. So they leaked um Mariah the Science's jail call with the young thug. Yeah, I seen that. This is ridiculous. Instead of people judging, oh, why is she talking like that? Why is she talking like that? Did you hear the beginning of the conversation? Thank you for the three Cubans that cost seventeen million dollars, babe. What? I got to treat me like that. Fuck, are From you my jail. baby? Cuckoo, gaga. He probably got to put a pacifier on me. That's what it's like when a nigga treat you getting, good, you call him daddy. People uh, was coming daddy, at her. daddy, daddy. Of course they were. I don't, you know, I don't read comments. So and then now every fat, ugly they got a boyfriend named Leon. Like, oh, I say that too. And she texting, am I your baby daddy? Like, no, did you fry the chicken? In jail, he need to hear the soft he could hear possibly. What the if I could read his energy, you know what it was? Go ahead with that baby talk. Yo, he really looked burnt. <laughs> that was the- Come on now with that baby talk. I don't... Mm. Baby girl, how much BTS you going to need? I need you to get out of here with that. Just, Zach, call, her, call your dogs off. What is going on? She just doing her job. She got a camera right here. Y'all can't see it. Right here, burning into my scalp. I can't be funny with that I need to be comfortable in here. Y'all harassing me. What's your sign? What's your birthday? A uh, Aries. You'll cuss me out. Mm-hmm, look at y'all. And stab me. I knew it. I like you a little bit. Get that camera out of here. Um, no, my thing was, my big thing was, why do they have that? Why are they recording that? And why are they, why is that? They are f***ing him. No, for real. That is illegal. You okay? Wait, wait, wait. What? When you're in prison and you make them calls, they oh, make it very oh, clear oh, that the oh, calls okay. can be recorded. But that is a visit. So that yeah. record is only for the jail to make sure he's not saying, "Bring me a knife up here." You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Why the fuck do we see that? That's crazy. I think it's been enough for them to throw this case out. I call for the young thug case to be thrown out immediately. 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 Shout to wife and Lucci. He got 20 years, like 10 years in, 10 years probation. He got that good-ass lawyer, Drew Finland. That nigga going to be out by the summer, back rolling weed and shooting niggas. Free wife. And like, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy for you, my boy. Welcome to fuck home, nigga. You did that, boy. Yeah. I hope Doug get a deal like that. Because how many, how many, how long have been been in there? Like, he been like almost three. Yeah, so it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. He's coming home. Years, yeah, be home. Perfect. Yeah. I just seen 50 on TikTok say, you know, 50, a funny ass nigga. He like, yeah, I told wife Illusion, you need Drew Finland. So he said, he come, they do the uh, visit, him and his mom, they see Drew Finland. His mom called him 50, that motherfucker stuttering. I don't know what the fuck you, you know what, I mean? what the fuck you did? Who you sent us to see? This nigga stuttering, he's scared. He said, oh shit. He said, I called Drew. Wait a minute, you stuttering now. What the fuck? Now, it came out perfectly. He said, you want to get out of jail, call Drew Now, Finland. now he the bull. <laughs> he that nigga, Stanley. but Drew Finland is, you know what, you might know him because he goes viral for talking about weed a lot, I think. If, if that's him. Let me shut up. Reverse that. I don't know if that's him. It's one of the white boy lawyers that always talk about weed and um, legality of weed and your rights and shit like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Free thug. It's just disgusting. I don't think they have a case. I think it's stupid. They own the fucking 
Um, every time I see a piece of the trial, they on they, they asking just the dumbest question. Last time I seen it, they, the girl said pushing P was about Percocet. Pushing P has nothing to do with Percocet. It's just like y'all don't you're not even cool enough to understand these lyrics. If y'all be trying to break them down and yeah. figure it out, hire somebody that speak Ebonics or something because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Hey cousins, get started on your resolutions with Factor so you're ready for the new year. Factor's ready-to-eat meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. Skip the grocery stores, prep work, the cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your front door. With over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan plus veggie, and more, plus over 55 weekly add-ons, You'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. Forget the overpriced takeout trap, too. Factor is cheaper and way more delicious than takeout. They're ready to heat and eat in just two minutes, which means more time for you to get your things done. In addition to ready-to-eat meals, they have cold-pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, extra protein, veggie sides, and more to keep you energized during frantic times. Head over to factormeals.com slash DCMWG50 and use code DCMWG50 to get 50% off. That's code DCMWG50 at factormeals.com. Check them out today. Like you, like you being too like a high pushing. Pee. Yeah, huh? They think they figuring out shit the whole time. It's like I would have stood on that fucking on that um podium, whatever. And they asked me questions, pushing pee, and I would have described her. I would have said pushing pee is about pussy, brown skin woman, tall, red shoes, red shirt, burgundy lips. That's what it's about. Fucking them kind of bitches, you know, with real jobs like lawyers. They would have locked me up. It, niggas pop perks, them niggas, but it's like. I ain't even going. We don't. We don't have to defend them, but that song was never about it pushing. Was, it perks. just wasn't pushing. P has it was pushing. P was like a little mini movement, and yeah. it was about being player, being, being player, cool. Yeah, being I cool. remember when viral when the guy that was flying the jet was giving a hard way to go, and Gunner or one of them says to him, "You're not being P right now." It's yeah. like it wasn't about drugs. It Mm-mm. just wasn't. It's stupid. It was. Stupid. It was. It was, it was like a, it was a free thugger. It was good energy at the time. Free thug. <sighs> Anyway, um, oh look, I skipped and went before that. Um, most definitely went viral. My friend Yasin, he went viral for saying that um, Drake wasn't hip hop. <laughs> Drake was shopping music. He's for shopping. Totally agree. I don't. I don't. Agree. I don't think that he's not hip hop. But he, if they played him in Amber Crombie, I wouldn't be like, Is "This Drake, it would fit." Would I wouldn't know. even notice it. Yeah, I wouldn't even notice and, it. And it's like my fucking. When you when you on the billboards, that's what pop is. It's the popular music. So it's like that don't mean it's still not hip hop or rap. It's but it's also pop. Like it's, it pisses it's, me off when the dream is to get over there and mm-hmm. get that money, and then the person that does is automatically like corny. It's just stupid. It's like if you like the nigga, you like the nigga. What the fuck do you care that a legend feels the way he feels? I never forget seeing DMX, DMX on the. I was about to say. Club. I literally was about to say DMX said he was like gay. <laughs> like, he was the first person to ever like openly said how I kind of felt about Drake. Fact. He just took it a little far because I don't hate Drake's face. Yeah. Like he actually, I hate his face. I hate his nails. I hate his mom. Yeah. I hate his shoes. I hate his dog. He probably got a Yorkie. Yeah. I got a pit. Like he was a little, yeah. you know. But a lot of that shit I agree with. I'm, you know, I like harder rap. I like harder music. I'm not really a per- throw that new Drake on. It's not gonna come out my mouth. Mm-hmm. Do I have certain Drake songs that I love? Yes. My brother loves Drake. Look at Tom over there now. He's probably bumping Drake now. You know what <laughs> I mean? But I'm not a Drake girl. It's just mm-hmm. not my thing. I also felt like it was a sound hard to get attached to because it changed so much and when you are getting inspired by these all these other cultures it will change yeah, I, like, so, I like earlier drake better like the there's more as time goes on he just fades a little bit the first he album Mick Jones, i but loved it's not, him it's not as played through as it used to be what was it me. take care what was the yeah, first take first care, album that's that one successful was on it no that's the mixtape that's, that's so what far intru- gone. That's my introduction to Drake. That's like the EP. I love Successful. I love that whole thing. And they had the Lil Wayne features on it. After that, yeah. it's been, you just, we just, you know, we fell out of love. Now, what if I met him, I'm going to tell him, you're my favorite rapper ever. Fuck. I love your hair. I love the clip. I don't think. I love Kenny. I don't think Drake is Drake's favorite rapper ever. 
You heard me. If I had to pick between Drake and Tori, I would pick Tori. Tori has way more songs that I love. Just talking about Canadians. That's for me. Tori has stuff that I really, really love. Like, yeah. I have to hear it. Yeah. Drake don't, like, have that for me. You know, I think I, you know, I don't know. I don't see why everybody cares so much when certain people say things. Yeah. If you want people to be honest, stop reacting so Everly to people when they say how they feel, you know, let but people say also, how they feel. That's how you know niggas care about what Yasin think because I feel like what he said ain't like like you said into like in twenty twenty four. That's not like a wild new opinion. Like when DMX said it, it was new, so it's, it ain't nothing out of the ordinary. But I feel like because it's him, people care about what he think and his opinion. We're gonna have Yasin come on the pod. Y'all know him as Most Def. I know him as Yasin. He's a friend. And um, yeah, I don't call that no, he just Mostef a, no more. It's Yasin. <laughs> he's just um, a good, humble Muslim, yeah. fly as fuck. You know, just trying to be a humble Muslim. That's, that's it. it. That's all. I was, that's that's what's important to Do him. His little shows get out the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's fly as fuck. He's gonna come on the pod. We got some stuff to talk Shout about. Shout out Yasin. Free Palestine while we at it. Um. So yeah, that's that. Um. Honestly, uh, fiction. I forgot to write what I wanted to talk about today, so I don't really remember. So we'll just like make it up as we go because I can't really remember. Right here it says cult full of fat girls. And I don't know if that's a note for the show or a note for here, but I will say that I wouldn't mind having a cult full of fat girls. I'm a fat girl as well. Can I be like, can I be like, part of it? uh, Like, clergy. You could be clergy, like basically like the preacher of it. Yeah. Like when we got to pray or whatever, you lead the prayers. You know what I mean? And then smush. Right. Exactly. Somebody got to taste that stuff. Feel me? And I want everybody to have good pussy, so somebody got to try them out for right, them to get right. in the call. Um, yeah. So, um, the fuck? <laughs> I wanted to say something else. I mean, let me check it out. Look, Zach, what is Zach over there? Did we ever talk about Nas X? I'm over uh, Nas Briefly. X. Briefly. I'm over Nas X still. I'm still over him. I'm tired of seeing his lawyers. I finally face. seen the um the Hurricane Chris video. That shit. Yeah, back. he was pissed. Pissed. You know when you got to bring Hurricane Chris up. What he said? We going to what for Jesus? We sliding for Jesus. <laughs> sliding for Jesus. Thank you. Yeah. Um, free my baby blue face. I was this close to getting him and Soldier Boy still beefing is so hard. To I me. think they squashed it though. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not over. Nah, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Soldier Boy came out and was on some playing shit. Like, oh, I, I'm gonna be the bigger man, put some money on his book, blah, blah, blah. And then Blueface, I think Blueface. Every time he called back from jail, he dissed the nigga. Mm-hmm. So as soon as that, it's, it's like they just Soldier Boy came back like. Fuck that nigga. I ain't putting no money on shit. When I see him, we still fighting. In real life, Blueface would beat the shit out of him. It would give, yeah. Punch, he punching a hole through. So. Blueface is punching on shit. Blueface is probably one of the first rappers in a while that is like, I'll fight you and he'll actually fight you. And we'll- yeah. I'm a, I'm, I'm a Blueface fan. He's a fucking Aquarius. He's going to spend his birthday in jail. That sucks. Happy birthday, Blueface. Yeah, nah, if you ever need somebody to up. talk to, you can call me. Soldier. I'll Talk never tell Kashawn or Jayden. I promise you. Let me be your <laughs> way. Write me. I'll write you. Think about me. I'm gonna think about you. I want to see you bust down. Okay. I remember I told you all about British Williams getting um all that time in jail. She was supposed to turn herself in at Christmas. She didn't. Hey, British, take it from me. Make them niggas do their job. You heard me. <laughs> we don't turn ourselves in. You heard me. <laughs> Come get me. <laughs> anyway, do you know her baby dad just got indicted? Yikes. It's a rough time for that family. I don't know. She's a, um, a reality star from Basketball Wise. I remember I was talking about her because her lawyer had advised her to do a couple things and, he, and she didn't do it. So he like um took himself off her case so then when she got sentenced to all that time he made it his business to come out and speak about it. and i thought oh, that was so unprofessional okay, okay, and ghetto okay, okay. yeah i remember that now. Yeah, 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 yeah and he yeah, called yeah, her yeah, a yeah. low brow reality yeah, yeah, star yeah, no yeah, 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 when okay, we talk okay. about oh i'm glad i brought this up when we talk about reality stars and or reality shows and the hierarchy of them basketball wives is more on the up and up but if you go basketball wives is not a zeus it's not a bad girls club it's not a it's up it's black women with money married to these powerful basketball dudes for love of god the person that Ran it was Shaq's wife for years. Shout out to Shawn, mm-hmm. Shawn, Shawnee O'Neal. Or no, what's her name now? Shawnee. It's Shawnee she still O'Neal. go by Shawnee O'Neal? I think so. She fucking follows me. And guess what she said? I love you. Tell her you too. Put me on TV, bitch. Um, 
But yeah, so yeah. And you know who else dodged a bullet? G Herbo. Because G Herbo not getting no time either. I'm all for these black men not going to job for these going to jail for these victimless crimes. Yeah. Like if nobody was murdered or raped, ain't nobody gotta go to prison, baby. Okay. Um, I'm glad I brought that up. I had a conversation on a podcast or somewhere, and the conversation came up about Nene Leaks. I believe that Nene Leaks is um, like a real live living legend when it comes to this reality show things and when it comes to black women doing reality television. I think a lot of people are Nene's sons. A lot of these motherfuckers come on these shows trying to get attention, using her same facial expressions, little jargon, little quick wit, little shit. All that come from Nene. Nene made people comfortable enough to be themselves and kind of bring the ghetto a bit to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's a legend. It's, it sucks how it went down with her and Bravo. I hope they can fix that. She just did a really good interview with Carlos King. Check it out if you haven't checked it out. But when I made that comment and gave Nene so many of the props, the person I was speaking to, their rebuttal was, well, actually, it was Tiffany Pollard. Where, where were we talking about that at? Oh, damn. Cut that out. We just talked about that last week. I'm tired. Um, I don't care. I want to say it again. Because see, talking to Candace is like, whatever. Let me really get into it. So I feel like when black girls saw, especially, and I'm talking about ghetto girls, not just black girls. The girls in the ghetto, we never got close to Tiffany Pollard or felt like that was her or that was our girl or whatever. Tiffany Pollard always gave, like, upstate New York, peak skill, Buffalo. You feel me? Nene is Brooklyn, the Bronx, you know? The hood girls. We watched when we watched Flavor of Love, if you did watch it, if you're old enough to remember Nene Flavor of Love. From New York, is she? No, Nene is from actually Nene really is from I think New York, the East Coast as a child, but she's uh, from Athens or something like that, okay. Georgia. But the reason why I'm bringing up New York, because the first black girl, as far as to be on TV, if you compare them to, it's going to be Tiffany. Tiffany Flavor yeah. Love came out way before that. Yeah. But that's not the same thing. Black girls from the hood didn't root for Tiffany Pollard. Black girls from the hood rooted for um delicious hoops or delicious. Yeah. <laughs> hoops are delicious, for real. And we really, we wanted you to, somebody to whoop um, New York's ass, for real. Yeah. And she let that white girl spit on her and even do nothing. That ain't a girl's girl. Let somebody spit on Nene Leaks. Nene gonna whoop that bitch ass. Yo, the spit on her and run was so funny. You I watched that. I'm surprised that you even yeah, know what I'm talking the, about. Because fucking Flavor, Flavor Flav was like, when he did that, that was like such a new, it was like top entertainment. You feel me? So Thanks. then when she came out with Flavor of Love and she had them nut ass niggas on there. If you remember the first thing. I mean, New York thing, Love, whatever it was called. If you remember the first thing was like Heartbreak of Love and it was like one of them white rock stars or wrestlers, remember? And I then they did a, Flavor yeah, of Love. It was yeah. the white bandana boy, yes. wasn't it? With the long hair? Yes. Yup. I brought that up because, you know, I'm still checking for um, reality television. I downloaded now that's TV like y'all asked me to. I couldn't get through 10 minutes of that shit. Oh, my God. It's no rhythm, rhyme, or reason. Literally, they walk in. Hey, this is Shaquita. This is Tamika. Round and this, one. Like, they don't even be like, fuck you. They just throw that shit up. And it's not like, ugh. It's like, <clears throat> like all jabs to the face. It's so bloody. It's too much on my soul. On my soul. It's too much on the damn <laughs> homies. Like, I try to get through it. I just can't. Um, a lot of y'all were saying, I was on live the other day, and a lot of y'all were saying, or I might have been on live this morning, I don't fucking remember, but y'all were like, oh, you should have Tia Kemp on the podcast. I won't. Nope, not interested in that. Tia Kemp is Rick Ross's baby mom, and she keep going viral talking shit. She got a video that's super viral. They got the song Hibachi, and all she do is eat it up, and they love it. I think she has a great personality. She need to do a show, do whatever, but I didn't like the whole thing. when Because we first got to know Tia Kemp, it was because... 50 Cent took her out. I was about so to say, 50 was that and the Rick 50 are, Cent yes. one? Oh. 50 and Rick are beefing. Oh. And this is your baby father. He's not doing you right. He's not treating you right. You ain't give you no you money. Y'all poor. And you let 50 fly you into New York to want a shopping screen. I'm sorry. Can't get with that. it. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. You know so what I would respect? I would respect if she paid somebody to steal his identity and she robbed him and had to go to prison for it. That's what I respect. Bust his windows. Beat up the new baby mom. But to go to the op, like, mm, not my thing. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be having um, Miss Kemp on the fucking um, pie. It's just not my thing. Oh, I almost forgot. I, I don't know if we ever talked about that big bloody scene. The YouTube YouTubers were beefing and they got pistol whipped. Did y'all see that? So, it's really popular to do these 20 verse Vun shows. Um, somebody okay. asked me to do oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did see that. I did see that when Boy was, was rumbling. They both booked for Sean. Um, 
like back to back. I remember that. They yeah. beefing, they pull up, ask the questions. The guys that pull up on the other guys, their whole point to come was to kick ass and steal cameras. Cameras are really expensive. Yeah. Sometimes when Zach pissed me off, I think I should put this camera in my pocket. He would never know. But I don't take it there because I change. You know what I mean? And um, so they kicking ass, taking cameras. But one of the guys that they approached, he, he was, he's a rumbler. He wasn't going. So he wasn't going. So no. he's fighting his ass off, and the fight don't stop till they pistol whip him, and then he finally and backs his vi- big, strong ass off. The funniest part in that video was when, when, the, um, when the, all the niggas ran in there, and the first nigga snatched the camera. He ain't even chased the nigga. He was Mm-mm. ready to fight. He just wanted to rumble. He just wanted to rumble. I respect it. I like They it. had to pull out two guns this time because he was fucking- He was boy. fucking that fat boy up. Fat boy, if you're watching this- you really embarrassed yourself. Like, you should have walked in there with the pistol from the door if you knew you couldn't really rumble. Your ass was hanging out, your belly yeah, all out. You need to put some spanks bad. on. Your mans had to come help with another gun. Like y'all You needed the- two guns, <laughs> help, your hair dry. Clearly, you the tough guy they brought, you brought, they brought to get mixed. Who was fighting? I don't even think his hat came off. You're so used to being a big, fat, black one that nobody approaches. You thought you was going to get out of there without a scratch on you, but you had a nosebleed the whole way <laughs> home. That boy you whooped could. your ass with your big, sweaty, slow ass. These I days, wish I would hire a tough guy. You can't even kick ass. These days, ain't nobody scared of at how you look, bro. Especially, what? Like, that curly hair fucker, you think he had a nose ring. Whoop your <laughs> ass. He was giving ducking shit. That boy in the gym. That boy just left playing the fitness. Your big, fat, sweaty ass with a backwood in your pocket. You pistol whip that child because you couldn't beat him. But then I tell you what, he a fighter, but he is also a, a law-abiding citizen. He said, everybody in this video going to jail. I've Philly. already called the police. Yeah. Yeah. Krishan was like, oh, God, no. <laughs> Krishan was like, no, we can all make money. I feel him because, for one, y'all came in here ski mask stuff, stealing shit. I'm getting all y'all because I'm not about to be looking over my shoulder. Y'all niggas is going to jail. I ain't no shit. Because how niggas. far is this going to go? Exactly. We talking about making money. If the if the artist wasn't Krishan, they would have ruined that whole thing. Krishan is a hood nigga, so she going to sit there, redo it, wipe the blood up, y'all do it. Average people, you have just lost your check. You just lost You just it. lost yeah. it because a bitch like me, I don't care how ghetto you I'm think out. I am. As soon as that blood hit my Nike boot. <laughs> we going We ain't gonna shoot this bitch up while I'm in it I don't even know what the beef's about Thanks. Fuck that That was It was wild I think it's Jolison and Hernandez was sentenced to two years For beating the shit out of Lex And um, I think that was Miami or Vegas or something And it's so crazy because Big Lex Not only did she rat on Jocelyn Her 911 call went viral Where she's like they beat me They beat me real bad And then her lawsuit was thrown out, so technically you ratted for nothing. And your last video was like 50 different red rags because you was talking all this blood shit when really you're just a big red rat. <laughs> <laughs> Read Jocelyn. You can't talk shit on the internet and then be mad when they see you that all their friends, even the makeup people, want to fuck you up. You think you keep dissing me? Gary ain't going to have a problem with it? <laughs> Gary about 6'2". Gary will fuck one of y'all up about me. Time too. He got on boots on today. <laughs> You want some trouble with time? I think y'all know what to expect from Phelps. He the perfect height to dig up in your ribs from the back. <laughs> All hook work to your ribs. Make sure you use your brain for you come with some drama to my shit. <clears throat> Bitch. I'm hot. Oh, I have on All Love No Hate. These are my little brother's brand, R.I.P. Mel. And I love it. It's so cute, comfortable. Maybe I'll put the information to purchase on my page. All love, no hype. Brett, my little brother. Um, this was his clothing line before he was murdered. So support his clothing line and his baby. Be appreciated. Um, almost forgot. You know what's crazy? How young Miami hasn't said a fucking word. Hmm. Wow. That much suck. It's Aquarius season. It's her birthday coming up. Trick daddy. I don't know. Because guess what? I don't care what would have came out. I wouldn't have broke, with the, broke up with that nigga till March. Yeah, she been with her baby dad again. Boy, have you ever seen me roll around with Chuck after something happened? Well, I'm at outside. the bottom. Yeah, she been out with him. She had to make sure she went back to at least another nice crib. I, I don't you know, even. I'm about to I, go back to my shit. I feel like she got her own, but I just think. <laughs> Like on some real shit. She got her own, but is it? It ain't Diddy House, nigga. It ain't Southside House. <laughs> I don't know. Southside rich like that. He's a producer of ten plus years. Are you serious? Oh, he rich. I didn't know, motherfucker. That's up. what I'm saying. I'm dead serious. What? He's up for real. 
South Southside is right there with Metro Boomin. He's like right oh, there. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. The dude who wanna draw us threw me off. <laughs> I ain't going That ain't front. got nothing to do with him being a dirty nigga. I don't know nigga. nothing about that though. Like you know, and plus I look at Miami like she's really really Producer, successful. Producers, especially once you in the game. Are we at least in agreement of that? That Miami, Miami is successful in her own right. And she got a yeah, bag. Yeah 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 yeah. Okay. But I'm just saying. I'm just giving you just generally producers. Yeah. Especially if they handle their business right and do their thing, they're way more money than the rappers. Than the rappers, yeah. I think I knew that part yeah. a little bit, yeah. So he wanted them, yeah. Well, I'm going to say this. I don't get out of it like she's dating him again. I just think she wants to get far away from that because that was so, so bad. You know, I'm a Puffy fan and I want to get away from it. Yeah. I'm just a fan. You feel me? And she might not have had a bad experience. What that mean? You a crip or what? She keep trying to fight me. <laughs> well, we could gang bang then, nigga. And young you know, Miami... My not she probably didn't you feel me? It don't seem like well we don't never we don't never know. But I don't feel like on the outside looking in she had a bad experience. But like you said, for the sake of her career, she We would never know. But I will say that they both took advantage of their union. I ain't never seen Cassie holding up so I don't think I don't I think young He was nigga. <laughs> Word. But this is what I will say. This is what I will say. They both they both got something good about being seen together. Because mm-hmm. you got to think, they would have a date night in New York and it'll be all over mm-hmm. the blogs. Like, they're, they're getting professional they pictures. for both of them, for sure, for sure. So, for me, for that to come out like that, that's a doozy. You know, like, yeah. damn. You know what I mean? I just feel bad for her, kind of. We haven't seen Diddy. I do think she needs to say something, though. I think she needs to have a conversation about it somewhere on some we kind of platform. We haven't seen with a black woman in a while, too. True. Like that's that was, and she's like black ghetto, black. lovable, yeah. And she's gorgeous. I don't know. It sucks though. It really does suck. Um, for my girls that are watching baddies with me, I don't know what the fuck was up with Sapphire, man. Suki got like Suki ended up fighting Roly. Roly is triple Suki size. The little dirty bitch, they call her EBT. Her name is ET, but they've <laughs> named her EBT because she's so it's something you know how somebody could be. Like, they might be broke on a come up from, or like, you know, like dirty young boy. We've had this conversation before. And he'd be like a dirty young boy. And then he'd come up, but no matter how much money or watches yeah, he get, he still look him, dirty. Him, I'm going to yeah. text you the name of who I think of when I think of that. <laughs> this is a nigga we both know. And every time I see him, all I can think is doo-doo, stain, poverty, poor. You ain't got shit. You don't know who your father is, right? Let's see if you know what I'm thinking. I feel, I, it's two names that I, that I, that well, I. Well, let's see. Thing come through. Oh no! I was. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I hate him. I hate his guts. But no, it's because it's like like a girl. There'd be a dirty, greasy bitch, <laughs> and then she'll come up, get a job, become a nurse, and I still see the little dirty feet flip flop bitch in you. You know? Why did I bring that up? What was I talking about? The the. the right, because that's how e- EBT is. Like or ET is. She's just <laughs> such a nasty bitch, and she came on the show kissing ass and. Like licking Roly's ass and doing whatever Roly say. And then they caught her at the reunion and they whooped her ass. I think like three or four of them whooped her ass. They jumped her and all kind of shit. And she, one thing I will say about ET though is, and I want you baddies bitches to know, ET is from LA. ET gonna be in LA. And every time y'all slide through LA, you y'all better make it to that car. <laughs> Cause that bitch gonna be outside with 11 other bitches from Compton, Inglewood, wherever the fuck they from. And she's gonna get you back for that. <laughs> That's one thing. E.T. was so calm and collective telling her story about how they whooped her ass and beat on her and shit. She's going to fuck y'all up. Y'all are going to get ran into. I hope you know that it's not over. See, some of this TV shit, you bump into a real bitch, you know? And she's one of them real ones from the trenches that she will fight you down. She don't give a fuck about no camera. She's going to come back and get you. I'm not a fan of E.T., but I will say that. Um, And I do, she is like making moves with herself or teeth or this or that, whatever. She looks good. You know, she's trying to make a way. I'm not a, not a fan of hers though, but I was a fan of Sapphire. Sapphire came on with Suki. I just told Sapphire how pretty she was in her DM and she just stood there while Suki fought somebody that's 300 pounds. Like, I don't get that. I don't understand that. Shout out to my nigga Bobby. Bobby really stood up for Suki um, in that moment or whatever, but it sucked. I hated seeing them splash that water in Suki's face. It really bothered me. So Suki like back in that mix? I can't even I say be that because she never did that. She did Love and Hip Hop. Okay. And Love and Hip Hop is different. Like yeah. Love and Hip Hop, they're going to scrap, but you're not going to scrap. Right, right, right. Baddies, right. they're going to scrap. They're going to fight for her. You know what I mean? It's so not now that's TV, but. There, they threw her some bread. Okay. Guess what she said, though? What? She only did it for her friend. They, they, to get Sapphire on the show, she had to come on. 
So Damn. for her to come on for a girl and then she's rumbling all night for the first time and then the girl don't help her fight is crazy. Oh. I think she redeemed herself. They're still friends. I think on a reunion, Sapphire probably whooped whoever's ass or whatever. But in that moment, it was just like, what was the Su- fuck just did, happened, did bro? Did Suki just pull up for like one episode or she did a whole season? She did like that, like a couple episodes. Okay, she yeah, didn't do yeah, Sapphire's yeah. on every. And I think also that's why it happened too. Sapphire's there every day. She's bonded with these girls. She know these girls. So to be sick on somebody is, but with me, if I call you bestie, I'll fight your mom for yeah, you, bitch. Like, That's just me. So on, yeah, I don't on. know what, you know, people use them friend terms and them bestie terms real, real loosely nowadays. If I fuck with you, you could sick me on your mom. <laughs> you could say, yo, fuck her up. I'm tired of this bitch. I'm going to do it. I don't give a fuck. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. We haven't manifested in a while. I want to manifest being skinny. I haven't figured it out, guys. Like, I lose 10, gain 12. <laughs> lose 12, gain 15. It's I see, hard. I see this meme earlier, this, this white lady. And she was talking about... Uh, she was like... She was talking about... um, Like, the uh, the white uh, reality housewife stars, how they all look the same. And she was like, yeah, they all that exempted. She was like, I tried a Zimpic. I ate right through that shit. <laughs> it was like, when you eat, don't it hurt the sugar? She was like, yeah, I ate candy, all that shit. It hurt. I just ate right through it. <laughs> I tried semi-glutide. I don't think it was strong enough. I think the last time, the last injection I had, I felt like it worked. But that's the thing, Phillips. You know, y'all know, I don't eat a lot. You don't eat a lot. It's anyway, what I man. eat that's bad. So it's like, me taking an appetite suppressant, it's not going to do anything. I need something that's like making me... Allergic to sugar. Like if I taste the cake, yeah, I'm like, that's, uh, yeah. uh, uh, this is disgusting. Yeah, oh, I need a carrot. Yeah. Yo. Oh God, Tom, give me some celery. I can't eat this little Debbie. You like sugar, yo? Love it. What? I need to start treating you how I treat my grandpa. Smacking shit out your hand, eating it all. Make me sauce this motherfucker up. My grandma, I'm gonna go. I turn this bitch. My colors. grandma, I'm gonna call me and be like. <laughs> I turn color on this motherfucker. Your here. grandfather done bought another cake. Can you come over here and eat it? Gra- I'll be like, all right, and I gotta go. I gotta go eat. I gotta go Listen. eat sweets. <laughs> oh, it's lit. Woo! <laughs> what? Motherfucker, candle. Shit is. I didn't drink I I didn't drink soda 2018 or 2019 at all. Straight through. No snacks, no sodas, no nothing. You know what I did? I would drink like fruit smoothies. That's it. But I would drink a fruit smoothie all day and not eat. I want to go back to like, what you eat today? Three grapes in a slim gym. <laughs> you heard me? You gotta chill off the cake. I'm I'm trying I'm getting Coke. I'm thinking Coke is probably the best bet. Coke or Adderall. Not all the time. I'm your skin gonna go bad. You like skin. You got some? You light skin, that coat gonna do your skin real bad. Don't do that. Plus, I don't wanna keep going all the time. I even, it's just gonna, you ain't. Little bump. Bump in the morning. Bump at lunch. Bump at night. I mean, this one. Between the skin. I'm giving this. The skin. Snapping on y'all about dumb shit. What happened to the sub episode? And you got the, um, and you got the deep eyes. Just slow it down. I'm I'm telling you. Babe. How it's gonna be. I had enough. Um, we haven't done manifesting, but I'm manifesting being skinny. I'm not going to give up till it happens. I cannot wait to get skinny and talk about fat girls again. <laughs> I used to talk about fat people so much when I was skinny, and now I'm fat, and I hate it. As long as I, got, I can't go with my friends that are fatter than me just to call them fat over and over. That's what I do to fat, fat ass, my friend fat ass. Um, hold on. Let's do, a, um, let's do a voicemail in the dark side of a DM. We got to start working out. Look at this. Look. There you go. Um... I got all the pics. Amina. Do you? Oh, yeah, I need them. Shout out to Amina. She looks so cute in her sneaker ball. Oh, yeah, real quick, as a little drama. Lyrica Anderson came out. Lyrica Anderson came on the show, and she had her management with her. To be honest, her management gave me like a, poison ivy, don't touch me. You know what I mean? Like, oh, y'all in Miami, I want to hang with y'all. Pull out. <laughs> Please, stop it. Okay? Um... But no, Lyrica has this post on her page where she's standing in front of this Range Rover and he gave it to her. He gifted her a Range Rover. Three months later, she figures out she's never getting a Range Rover. It's a lie. But he put on his page like his big ass, um, like his defense, because now she's doing interviews and she's talking about it or whatever, right? Tom is so confused, huh? The nigga that was there with her 
Well, it's he busting us, right? He kept talking about he worked with this person. It was that boy, right? Yep. He turns out to be exactly what we thought he was <laughs> in that moment. If niggas knew Lyrica, we might have been like, yo, I don't know what's up with Buddy. Mm. But this happens. And she did an interview about it. Check the interview out. I don't know where the fuck it's at, but Google Lyrica loses Range Rover and it'll pop up. But um, he put this long explanation on his page about it, right? And I commented on it. I said, listen, did you tell her from Jump that you were buying her a vehicle? That's what it sounds like. And if so, that's where you went wrong. If her, your brother was buying a car, then you should have presented her that way initially. Not after when she's calling asking three months later, where's my truck? Because that would piss me off. You know, I met both of y'all together, so I'm just being honest because if that happened to me, I would have been pissed. Him, true. That wasn't revealed until weeks later. He called to let her know that he was the one buying and that it was, it was his idea. Like I said, she isn't wrong for being upset. But once it was revealed, um, I was like, in hindsight, the post shouldn't have even been made. Hindsight is always twenty twenty at in the end. You have you have to know that I was the one who had to tell her who wants to break that news to their client. Nigga, what the fuck did you just say? Nothing. Like, what are you talking about, motherfucker? I made it really clear. When you first said, hey, I'm buying you a Range Rover, did you say, hey, I'm buying you a Range Rover, but my brother's going to buy it for me? Or did you say, hey, I'm buying you a Range Rover? That's what he said. So once your brother fuck up the deal and the deal goes through, you can't say, hey, damn, my bro ain't get that Range Rover. Damn, I thought it would be here already. Because I don't even know your brother, nigga. And fuck that. You my man. Cap. I, I, I call Cap, nigga. I, my first question, if I was her, if my manager... Nigga, how much I'm paying you that you getting some shit I ain't got? Hold the time out. We, let me see them books. What the fuck? Is the, go to Lyrica <laughs> Anderson page. She's still on that. She still has the post up with the Range Rover in the background that she never got. I'm sure she didn't bore herself something nice, but yeah, that's crazy. Just Y'all wonder why I don't have management because it's spooky. These niggas are weird and all they do is lie and cap and big themselves up for no fucking reason. They claim a bunch of fucking relationships they don't have. They go everywhere asking for pics with celebrities and they flood their pictures with it and they, might, they try to influence you to believe that they have relationships with these people. Whole time, this is what the relationship look like. Can I get a picture? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Um, we got a voicemail because I didn't use the ones from last week, so I know we have to have them. Now, you sent the fresh one two times because I haven't done this in so long. Let's go. Hey, Mona, this is Candace. I have a huge problem. So, basically, I think my grandma backdoored me. Her daughter kept coming over there to fight me. The first time, her oldest daughter, um, which is my aunt. She came over there with her daughter to try to beat me up, but she wound up getting beat up. So two weeks later, they came over there, and the mom wanted to fight me, which is my aunt. And I beat her up, and she wound up stabbing my boyfriend. Do you really feel like I should, because now we got to go to court for everything, so you feel like I should tell them that it was the, the reason why she came over there to keep trying to fight me is because of my grandma lying and telling her stuff? Or you <laughs> think I should just leave grandma out of it? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. That's a predicament right there. That's a joint. That's a good joint, huh? <laughs> I'm getting out of them. I'm getting out of them, though, that she lives with grandma, right? Because she's saying bringing them over. Probably. Or she, I don't yeah. Right. I'm a true believer that police don't help things and court don't help things. So if y'all could all just skip court, I think it would probably play out a little better. Um, That's what I think. I think y'all should just. Somebody need to pass a message to somebody like, yo, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to go this, go through this. I don't want to pay a lawyer. And let's just skip this part. Worst come to worst, Easter coming up. Fuck them bitches up at Easter. Everybody at the church have on slippery shoes. Beat them bitches' asses at the Easter. And they tell your boyfriend to toughen up. Nah, they was trying to... I don't think he bitching. He probably, she probably... Because you, you got to think, if they was jumping or what he did. <laughs> he jumped. Shout out to Derek. <laughs> Shout out to Conehead. <laughs> He got in the mix and got touched up. That's all. But he at at this point, as a man, in the moment, yeah, you're gonna do what you're gonna do. But you're not about to keep going back and forth with these hoes. We're going to court. Cause I can't catch y'all in the street. It's, I, I can't be on that type of time with no woman. It's in the moment. Y'all was jumping my girl, but now nah, we're going to now y'all bitches going to jail. Cause I can't have beef with y'all. When I'm gonna run down the nail salon and wait for you, like we're not doing that. I can't have no I can't. That is so this might be too ghetto and complex for me to even answer. <laughs> but that's that's my official answer. If y'all could just, because at the end of the day, if everybody press charges on everybody, well, we all going to be on probation for three years. Why are we doing this? I can't get my bitch to beat y'all up. She done did it multiple times. We going to court. <laughs> but what's going to happen after court? Like after court, everybody get probation, then what? 
Y'all bitches stay away from me and my bitch. Cause do you gotta think they came and fought this bitch twice? Like, yeah. nah. Bob's got a point. We got two different points, but he has a point. So there you go. You got advice from both of us. But I there will say, go. lifestyles of the ghetto fathers. Y'all ghetto as shit. Your, gr- your, do your grand- grandma sell weed. I know your grandma ran numbers back in the day, but do she sell weed today? Grandma get food stamps why in two you, different. Why grandma you, get food stamps in two states. Why I know your grandma in the mix? Because she knows what's going on. Like, why is she? Grandma is the whole. She the ring leader. This she opened bullshit. the door. She wanted to see it. She wanted to see it. Remember that shit right on her Android. She got that shit right on her Android. You know they got the fight. And let me pull it up. I got the whole thing. It's on my ring. That's oh deep. my god! All right, hold up, and I got a DM. Shout too. out to grandma for turning the crib up. Cause I feel like I have not done the right thing with these. Um, segments in so long but I do have some hey cousin I love the podcast it has me in tears daily I'll be seeing you in Virginia soon super excited oh yeah you Virginia March 15th. March 15th those tickets are for sale right now Norfolk Virginia March 15th Houston Texas will be on sale by the time you see this um, podcast that's uh February the 16th and February then the 16th. Maybe March 2nd might be St. Louis, but just check us out, okay? Um, hey, cousin, I love the podcast. It has me in tears daily. I will be seeing you in Virginia soon. Super excited. But I just wanted to know your thoughts on something. Recently, the new season of Love and Hip Hop ATL has Yandy trying to help her sister conceive. Oh, this is crazy because a couple men asked me this. So she is giving her eggs to help her journey. Of course, Yandy's husband is not too happy about it. I had the biggest crush on him in D.C. for so long until they start calling him a rat. And now they don't call him a rat no more, but I still like like him. And I know he married, yeah, but he, he is beat, so he fine to me. Are like, I remember that. Oh, my God. He is so fine to me. Um, he was the one of the first niggas on TV with veneers. Ooh. Yeah, boy, really. I kiss him. Man, D.C. right in his mouth. Okay. Um, I had a similar situation when I was 21. My mother wanted to have kids with her new husband and asked me for my age since I already had a child. And, of course, I did it. So if the procedure would have worked, me and my stepdad would technically have been biological parents of my child slash sibling. I know it's a lot, but my question is, would you give your eggs to a parent or sibling if they were struggling with fertility? I had somebody very close to me. Um, I can't even say they were struggling with fertility because I never felt like that person really put a lot of effort into it. But I was totally willing to give her the eggs. Like, it was already mapped in my mind. If she needed that, she could have that. And we were really, really close. Um, but I was going to totally be like, you gotta fuck know. that baby. I was never buying a nigga a sock. I was never going to be like, oh, that's my baby. You know nah, what I mean? Nah, like, nah, I would have nah. forgot all about that nigga. Like, it would have been like, you know, like, what's up, nigga? Like, it was for her, you know? I love my friends real, real hard. So, yeah, I was definitely going to I feel like you would have played fake on, though. To, to the same extent I would have did any of the other kids. Yeah. I'm, I'm owning to a lot of people, but... I know that I wouldn't have had that emotional connection because I did not carry that baby. Like, it's mm-hmm. 2024, things are different. You know yeah. what I mean? But um, that's like the ultimate gift you can give somebody if you love somebody. Just like if I love one of y'all, y'all needed a kidney, I would give it to you. Especially they going to give me pain, man. <laughs> Shit. Make this, let's put this one up and up. Make some money. Okay. Or nah, maybe, but no, maybe I don't think it's strange. That. People have asked me about that so much. It's Hold so strange on. that you maybe, ask me. Maybe we should do that because I don't want to have kids right now. We should make the embryo and freeze it. Our baby, amazing, so smart, you so aggressive. You give him some height. You feel? Yeah, me? I got you on that. I got you, baby. Give him some height. I got you. He need you that. See how big Mean is? Facts. Nigga like a WNBA, WNBA player. I always told niggas like I probably would have took over the world if I was like five ten. I think he kept me five three. Mm. If I was five ten, everything would be different. You been pinky in the brain, nigga. Yep. Um, no, so yeah, if, if that answers your question, I'm totally with it. If Beandy's doing it, I think she should. I would have did it too, and I think it'd have been cool if we did it for your mother. People know, women know how we, like, we know. I remember, I think I had a miscarriage at like 20 or something like that, and I remember, I just thought I would never have another, like, it was just such a bad feeling, like, until I realized how common it was, and people do it all the, the time. miscarriage was before your first child. Yeah, before Amina, I had a miscarriage by Amina's father, and I was so, like, like, I didn't want a baby, but the way I had the miscarriage just made me feel real low. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I think a lot of women um, kind of associate their ability to make a baby with being a woman. So the minute that you feel like you can't or you, yes. and, it's, and it's really not true. Confidence I know women thing. that are, don't have children, they're the most nurturing mothers ever. You know, I know women that have raised children that never had them, you know, out of their body. So, mm-hmm. but that's just how it feels when you're in it. So, yeah, who wouldn't want to like. Give that gift to their family or friend member. I would, you know, you want to, you want to stretch that pussy out. Cause let me tell you something. I almost said something. I, I, I texted. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. That's, you're, you're growing and changing, babe. Almost said something. <laughs> <says I'm real. laughs> something crazy. Get out, Phelps. Leave. No, this is what I will say. If you don't mind stretching that pussy out, because my children's heads are huge. You want a watermelon size here? You want a big waterhead child? You go ahead and have it. Want an anger problem? <laughs> Predisposed to going to jail statistically. My children going to prison. Take them. Take them. Here are my eggs. Zach, put eggs in my hand. Stop chewing that motherfucking gum like that. Put eggs in my hand, Zach. Tom is hiding behind his jacket. Oh, you were yawning. I thought you were cracking the fuck up. Here are my eggs. All of you can have them. I love you. Go to moremona.com right now. Subscribe to the podcast, nigga. I'm going on break. Fuck what Zach said. <laughs>